Here are some basic tips we tend to forget when applying as a newbie. Now just a disclaimer, this is not an assurance but just some good to knows and of course plus points na rin if you are a newbie at applying for a virtual assistant job. Number one, create a good resume. Put some effort into it but one that looks clean and easy to read. Number two, a disk assessment is also helpful. Some clients or companies require this and it helps them to know more about your work ethic. Number three, create a portfolio. This helps a lot especially when you're applying as a marketing virtual assistant or a social media manager. It doesn't have to be super impressive because you're being happy about it. But if you have free time, you know, just create a dump account or sample mock-ups of your work. This also helps you track your improvement in the long run. Number four, always put your best foot forward and be presentable. Invest in good quality headset or headphones and a well-lit area for interviews. And kung wala pang budget, you know, dress well and speak loud and clear. Number five, be confident. I could not emphasize that enough. Newbie ka, but you have a lot to offer. Huwag tayo mahiya, because it shows sa mga interviews. Sell yourself and really put all your skills out there. Kung mahihiya ka sa interview pa lang, paano ka mabibigyan ng client kung hindi ka marunong makipag-converse, di ba? As a newbie, wala pa nga tayo masyadong mailalagay sa resume. So let's please consider these things. Hindi porket sinabi ng companies na they accept newbies or with no experience, eh magiging kampante tayo sa application process. Let's put time and effort sa mga materials na. Hope this helps. I will go in-depth on some of the items on our next series of videos, so follow for more.